so it can go out. Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's your girl Brianna, aka Craviana, back with another video. And in today's video, I will be talking about my pets, my um pets, which are hermit crabs. I have three of them, and I noticed that on YouTube there isn't a lot of information about them, um, nor or like how to take care of them or anything like that. Which, um, after doing my research, I realized that it isn't um, recommended to have hermit crabs as pets because. They don't reproduce in captivity and they're made to be, you know, in the beaches and stuff like that. And they're mostly sold at like shops. <sighs> Come here. He's gonna take all my space. Um, yeah, they're not very recommended pets. Uh that's what the, what that's what I got from most of the research that I did was like, don't get them, don't get them, don't get them. But that was after I got my first hermit crab. Um, like I said, I have three. The first one I got, oh my god, um, the first one I got, her name's Penelope, when I show you guys her, um, when I show you guys them, I'll tell you who, but she has a white shell right now, um, when we first got her, I got her out of a toy store in the mall, and, um, yeah, I just thought she was so cute, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get one, and then after I did more research, after I purchased her, I realized that hermit crabs aren't, um, solo animals like they like to be in groups or congregations so uh the next day I went and I bought two more so now I have three I have a 15 gallon tank um I heard that you're supposed to have one gallon per hermit crab but my three hermit crabs do perfectly fine and they are always like together so I don't think it really matters about the space as long as it as long as you don't um leave them in the tank that they came in which is um okay so instead of just doing all that i might as well just show the tank now um so this is my hermit crab setup i just recently moved them they were right here by the window but i decided to move them into the closet because i don't know i just did and we don't obviously we don't hang our clothes up so um yeah we have plenty of space but yeah this is my um tank there we go this is my tank and this is what i meant when i said as long as you don't buy them or keep them into the ones that they came with. There are different sizes. I have two, if you can tell. I have the the small green one is what um, I bought Penelope in. I had a size uh, option to choose, like, whatever size I wanted. So I got this one. And then um, for a Christmas gift, I actually got this one. So whenever I travel, if I want to bring my hermits, I can, I guess. Um, but yeah, you don't want to leave them in there. You obviously want to get a bigger tank. Um, the bigger, the better. The bigger, the more you can have. Also, I don't recommend having like 20 in a 10 gallon, you know. So three is perfectly fine. Um, I have one, two hiding holes. As you can see, um, Penelope is in there right now. She's in the coconut. And then Hawk, this is Hawk. He's my biggest him and um where is she um because it is hard to see with the red light and to see the colors and stuff i did turn off the um light but oh okay so i don't want to bother her but elizabeth is right under this food bowl you can kind of see her tail her shell sticking out right there next to the food bowl I don't want to bother her because once they go under, they're under. Um, but yeah, this is my stand up. It's Valentine's Day, so I gave them a rose. Let's see if I can move this light out the way so you guys can get a good view. Like I said, this is a 10 gallon. I do have three hermit crabs, so I do have two food bowls and two water bowls. This is a salt water bowl, and then that one is a um fresh water bowl. I have all of their shells that they can choose from for when they molt. They have an option to change. Um, Penelope has switched hers from that, the white, this white shell right here to the white ones that she's in now. Elizabeth has changed her shell from this like giraffe looking one to the one she's in now. And Hawk hasn't changed his. Hopefully he changes his soon, but we'll see. Um, I do have like this climbing like rock 
I don't know what it is. No, it's not even a rock. It's like a stick, but I put rope around it because they like to climb. I have a climbing wall that I'm going to um make more like longer, I guess, to fill up this whole wall, but not all the way to the top because Penelope climbs and she climbs on top of to on top of the roof and then she's like stuck there and shit so yeah i don't like her up there because she has a she can't get down we have to help her down and like her body be almost about to fucking fall off the shell and i'm not with that so yeah as you can see i do have a lot of um coconut fiber this is coconut fiber it isn't dirt or mulch or whatever it's coconut fiber and there's some like rocks in there from when i first got them I did get rocks. Um, what else? That's not really much else. Oh, what I'm feeding them today, they, um, well, this food's a day old. I put it in there yesterday, but in this bowl, there's some corn, um, carrots, and mango, and then their hermit crab food or pellets. And then in this one, there's some cabbage, some mango, and their pellet food. And in each one, I also sprinkle a little bit of their calcium supplements in there to make them more like healthier or whatever I guess um and this is also what I use I have salt water solution fresh water solution and then stuff to make all all of the water safe I have my spray bottle for when I miss them I miss them a couple times a day depending on when I'm home I try to miss them as much as possible miss them as much as possible and I have two waters water bottles that I obviously put the solution in and that's what I use to water them i also have my thermometer to make sure that they are chilling and right now it's actually at the like best temperature um and the humidity is dope right now but yeah this is my hermit tank this is my miniature hermit tank hermit crab tanks um i do have shells extra sponges uh this is was for when i clipped my when i first got my very first lamp oh yeah this is the lamp that i have too it was a clamp lamp and this is the brand that I got yeah and then the light bulbs I don't have the boxes for the light bulbs but I did have two I did have this white one I tried to put it in there yesterday but I'm guessing it's broken or um I don't know I haven't dropped it or anything and I've been really careful with it but yeah and then I have this red light in this is a daytime lamp a daytime light it's been keeping them a lot more warmer than I would like, but, and you know, you can't really complain about too much heat for them. But yeah, this is my hermit crab tank. Um, there's really not much to it. If you guys do want to learn more about hermit crabs, um, I can, like, make another video about it or make a video about me when I clean their tank. I just cleaned their tank recently, so it'll be another three months before I clean it again. Uh... But yeah, I can I can go down and sit down, write some stuff down, and then figure out what I want to talk about, and then come back with some more information about them because they're awesome pets. I mean, you can't really complain. They're really cool, especially at nighttime. They're more active. Um, I watch them a lot a lot at nighttime. I'm so close to catching one of them on camera when they're switching their shells. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, that's the um, end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, comment down below if you guys want to learn some more about hermit crabs. Um, like I said, they're cool creatures. They're omnivores. They eat anything. Um, but without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.